Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Stellaris Megacore. I'm Praetorian, and we are playing as the Space Slugs, or excuse me, the Walmart Slugs. I keep calling them the Space Slugs because we're in space and we're slugs. Walmart Slugs. Um, what I kind of want to do here is let's name this heavy anchor planet. We're going to name them into Target. <laughs> so this is our main competitors. They they were here on our what we would later call corporate HQ. Um, they were here on our planet, and we have now kicked our competitors off the planet, and they live on this barren world. Nobody's allowed to go to Target anymore because Walmart has won the war with them. <laughs> it was a big it was a big war in our history. If you wanted to know the lore of the Walmart slugs, uh, there was a big war between us and Target. Yeah, we kicked them off, and now they're on that barren world. You got to travel really far if you want to go to Target now. Uh, we got the special progress for the space amoeba study. Okay, um, yeah, let's go ahead and well, I mean. Let me see what what's cost benefit here. What are we losing? Just the tile blockers. Um, so let's go ahead and research that. Uh, we got this getting done. Uh, and then the L cluster mission. Okay. Nothing that uh, nothing we didn't know about over there. But yeah, we're expanding uh, ever so slowly, but now starting to kind of fill out the empire map. Starting to learn of all of our our neighbors. You know, finding out exactly what our border is going to look like before you know we have to resort to conquest and stuff. We're not a peaceful uh, species. Uh, you know, obviously we're not. Uh, we're looking to do whatever we have to do in order to expand. Uh, so while this is not going to be a war-focused playthrough, we're not that type of. I guess we'll go ahead and have them him knock that out. Not, it's not a war-focused playthrough. We definitely will resort to war if need be to expand our empire and stuff to re expand the Walmart. Whatever we have to, whatever we have to do, we're ruthless. Absolutely ruthless. It's Walmart for you. The Far Ring Combine has issued a trade embargo against us. Say a what? Damn them! All right. Well, can I retaliate with that? Is that an option? Um. No. Request to become a subsidy. I love they call it subsidy. That's awesome. Um, yeah, we need to make these guys a subsidy. That's what we need to do. Uh, make claims. How do you do... How do I do that? I don't even know. Um, how do I tell them that I, I'm embargoing them as well? No fucking trade for them. You're not seeing that as an option here. Alright, why do they get to embargo me, but I can't embargo them? I don't actually know how the embargoes work, I suppose. Once again, guys, I'm, uh, you know, I don't play a ton of Stellars uh, overall, you know. When it comes to Paradox games, I play a lot more Hearts of Iron. You know, speaking of the, the Stellars, though, you, uh, you guys should break. be able to get this into your hands soon. Uh, this comes out on, on they have declared us rival. We should probably do that as well. Um, make them our rival. Declare rivalry. You have to be a rival to, to do that. Maybe that's what it is. Nope. It's not a rival thing. Not a rival specific thing. Um, yeah, you're just gonna be able to get this into your hands uh, very soon. This is this is Wednesday's video, and the game comes out on Thursday, or the expansion comes out on Thursday, and uh, you guys will be able to uh, buy it and play it. Uh, let me know if you're planning on buying it. I'd like to hear it down in the comments if you are interested in purchasing it, and if you are, um, or if you are not, then why not? What is it about it that you weren't weren't digging? Just curious overall, guys. We wanted to scan this. Uh, system. That's what we want to do. Just curious how you're feeling about it. Um, and once you do get it, I'd love to hear your, your opinion of it once you actually start jumping into it and playing it. Uh, I'm really liking it so far. Um, like I said, I'm not a huge Starship Graveyard. Alright, where was that located? Was that down here? Oh, nice. More alloys. Uh, new contact. The Covenant here. Oh. More spiritual people. Ah. Yeah. It's the exact opposite of us. They're not going to like us. Um, so the, the way forward lies in our hands. Not the spiritual hands, but the materialists. They're actually on the other side over here. Oh, they are actually potentially an ally since, Boom. as you notice, they, they're they blocking something. them in. So between us and these guys, we have uh, stymied their expansion. They cannot expand because of that. Yeah, this is actually a potential ally just because of their, their location. Even if they don't actually like us. It just sucks everybody hates us. <laughs> we can't really make any friends with anybody. Uh, they really need to have like a, you know, increase opinion uh, option here. Uh, some way to, you know, make them, make us like us more. Besides just giving them free shit, uh, which is the only thing I know uh, as far as, yeah, because they're not willing to do anything with us. We should Incoming be friends, man. Let it go to voicemail. Defensive pact invitation. Oh, wait a minute. 
we actually have somebody wanting to do uh, something friendly. We would not want to drag your empire into conflict, but it's clear that we'd benefit from joining together against possible threats. I need a friend, you need a friend, yeah, let's let's do it. If these guys want to get jumpity and they attack them or they attack us, then yeah, we will support each other. I'm absolutely, absolutely for that. Um, yeah, I like this. Uh, what we'll do, I don't think that this would be all that beneficial to us. I doubt that they have the technology that, well, technology level is actually equivalent. Let's do the form commercial pact though. Uh, form a commercial pact with his empire. This will increase the value of both empires and trade networks. This will increase their trust of us by 0.25 each month up to the maximum 100. It'll cost 0.25 each month influence, though I don't think commercial packs are gonna cost us influence because of that uh, that tradition that we got through that perk. And we'll get 9.11 and they'll get 6.62 and 3.31 uh, each month as long as the deal is active. Okay, yeah, I, I wanna do this uh, because I wanna build our first uh, our first uh, corporate headquarters, whatever, you, whatever they call them. Um, we can now use hostile takeover. Okay, so new CB, commercial pact imitation. They agreed. Excellent. So what we want to do is go to their home world. I'm just looking for him. I'm not actually seeing it. Where the hell did they start out? Oh, here it is. Oops. Uh, so we want to go to their home world, and we're going to want to build. A branch office. Oh, do you automatically? We're not. Oh, they have a branch office, and you can only have one. Well, isn't that a goddamn shame? Our fucking rivals, man. Do they have them on all of their planets? I guess we'll take a look here. Oops. Let's see if we can't. Yeah, looks like they have all of these planets. Well, that's that's not cool. <laughs> that sucks. Um, we can't establish one there, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, it is going to cost us a little bit of influence, uh, and it does cost a lot of money, of course. Um, but yeah, we get a little 15% discount, and it's not going to generate a lot. Um, I just want to do it just to have it, just so I can say that I have branch offices. <laughs> uh, remember, you do get the uh, little building stuff that you can do here as the, the planet gets larger. It doesn't really seem like a very large planet right now. Um, but yeah, it's going to generate a little bit of money. Um, is there any other planets that we can build on? I don't know which ones I just looked at. I think we have one. We have one there. Okay. And I think we looked at... I know we looked at the, the headquarters. I want to say... Or the capital. I want to say we looked at this one as well. We did not. It's even less valuable. <laughs> We're going to do it anyway. I know that this is like... Not beneficial. Um, the, the amount of time it would take to, to pay for the initial cost. Uh, but I can't just let them get all of the, the planets here. Uh, that's the main reason why I'm doing it. It's about, you know, Planetary we're getting that benefit for ourselves and we're taking away from our rival. Uh, repairs complete. Okay. Um, research. Yeah, we'll go ahead and agree to that. Uh, it seems that they're, you know, they also have a lot of text that we don't have, so I think it would be beneficial. Uh, the system has been fully surveyed and the tsunami fleet has been uh, repaired. So let's go ahead and hit the fleet manager up. And we're just going to increase it through here. Uh, we're going to want to build these guys up. Uh, these guys actually need to retrofit, uh, or excuse me, reinforce uh, to get up to the 15. And, and then we have this cruiser here, the derelict um, class that we found in that mission. Uh, so we have that nice uh, cruiser here, so that's awesome. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and increase up our, our size here. We're going to do like 20 Corvettes, although I'm almost thinking about doing a new type of Corvette. We might do that later. We're not going to do that right now. How much uh, would this cost? Quite expensive, but we can't afford it. Let's reinforce it. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and get the uh, Tsunami class nice and powerful. Uh, and then this science ship isn't doing anything. He finished up researching these three systems. Nothing super exciting. More alloys, of course, which is good. Let's go ahead and have him move along to the the next direction here and see what we can find. All right, so that should keep him busy for a little while. Uh, he'll take care of that for us. More other science ship works up here. I'm thinking we'll probably go ahead and scan that next and then we'll have him do this uh, project here. And we do got a tradition, excellent. Um, so survey speed increased by 35% and science ship disengagement chant increased by 50%. 
Research alternatives and scientist level cap. Well, I don't think most of our scientists are... Well, this guy's at six, uh, so he could use use that. Um, but I want to do the survey speed, because I want to get this going quicker. And damn, then we're going to want to do the research station output. Uh, so yeah, we might not get that for a little while, but that's, that's all right. It's fine, guys. Somebody else died. Oh, no. Sam Walton's dead. God damn it. Damn it. That's unfortunate. So the founder is dead. So we have uh, our governor that wants to do the native privilege. Uh, I don't know, man. He's pretty old. He's not going to last long. Uh, so we're just going to be replacing him rather soon. Probably would be a better idea to go with one of the younger ones. And I'm not really super excited about the native privilege anyway. Um, I guess we'd want to do one of the new generations. We'll probably start working on claims, too. We can also do claims. Start claiming some of this. Uh, there wasn't really any reason to do it yet, uh, since we're not conquering anything. Yeah, I think we're going to go with one of these guys. Uh, do we want to go with our admiral that we just got? Or do we want to go with the engineer? Let's do the engineer. He's young. He's crappy anyway. So he's not really helping in science much. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And he's cheaper. All right, so we're going to elect him. And that's why it's always nice to have that extra influence. Um, so new ruler has been elected and so we need to get a scientist to replace him. Hopefully we'll find somebody better than than he was. We can get industry or one of the eager guys. Hmm. I think we're going to go with the industrial guy just because once again he's, he's younger. So we'll go with him. Go ahead and get him working on uh, anomaly found. engineering Wait. research. Find another anomaly. We we'll research this? that. Boom. Oh yes, I completely something. forgot. I was actually going to change up our policies here. I meant to do this in the beginning of the episode, but I, I forgot. Uh, because we're stacked on the consumer goods, so I don't really feel like we need to put this towards the consumer benefits anymore. Uh, I almost want to go towards mar Marketplace of Ideals, uh, just so we can start getting the uh, um, getting our traditions quicker. Uh, and we're, we're pretty good on, on wealth. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do Marketplace of Ideals. I think that'd be super beneficial to us. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I think that's, that's very helpful. And I don't even know that that's ticked up yet. Uh, so let's go with... Probably gonna go retrieve some tissue samples for this one. I like the regenerative whole tissues. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Evasion's nice as well, of course. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do this. And construction complete. What did he build? Oh, he expanded us. Uh, I think we just went over the limit. Yeah, we did. All right, so that's gonna cost us some money, of course. Nothing to be done about it. Let's go ahead and build the mining stations. Maybe offset some of that. Yeah, but I think we need to get a trade, um, a trading station here. And I think that's exactly what we're gonna have to do. This is a lot of uh, trade value that we could capitalize on. Uh, right now, I mean, we're only gonna get we're gonna get eleven, but that pays for itself. Uh, limbo. So we got a special project in Limbo. Log updated. All right. Um, I don't even know where that was. Wasn't really paying attention to it. It's gotta be up here, I assume, right? Yeah. It's right here. So we'll get him doing that. Um, the alien vault filled with data storage devices practically Anomaly begs file. for some archaeological hey, data recovery. Can monetize this? Yeah. Go ahead and research that. Another Let's take a look at our planets. We haven't looked at it discovered. all episode. Um, so we'll take a look at this. You can see that the consumer goods is nowhere near as uh, high as it was. You know, but the unity. Look at this. 94. We're, that's that's a lot. Uh, 46 months, and then we get the next one. That's awesome. Uh, take a look at our buildings here, guys, or at our, our planets. Just trying to make sure that make sure that we don't have any uh, unemployed or about to be unemployed like we do here. I think we're going to go with the generator district here. And we did finish up the armor tech. Awesome. Uh, so we can get the Elgate insight gained um, from that tech. I, I want to go for robots, though. Ugh, tempted for destroyers. But yeah, let's go with the robots. Robot assembly plants and robot workers. Uh, I think uh, that's the whole reason why I did that one tech kind of early on is because I was hoping to get that. I didn't get it as quickly as I was wishing, but yeah, we have it now. So let's uh, make sure we research it. Extremely beneficial to get that. Um, so, so yeah. Um, I think this will be a trade hub here. And these creatures should be studied. Was that over here? Boom. Yeah. We built something. Yeah, so we'll probably get a trade hub there. Um, we could also fortify up a little bit more 
in the uh, bastion here if we built up our defenses, our defense platforms. So let's let's do that. Um, before we, we can, we have to take care of our defense platform here because uh, we haven't actually designed one yet. So yeah, we want to design this and name it. All right, so we're going to name it the shells, you know, because we're slugs and we wish we had a shell like a snail. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we're still early in the game. So most of the ships we fight are going to be smaller ships, Corvettes. So let's go ahead and get um, a light station for right now. Uh, we'll change it up later, I'm sure. Uh, so let's go ahead and build these out here. Uh, and let's do more deflectors. And I suppose we got the new armor, so might as well put some of that in as well. And um, what else do we need to do here? I think that's it. Let's go and save that. Get rid of their barnacles. And I think I also forgot to change this up. We have it set to pick it. Um, is that what we're, where we want it? Yeah, I mean, I guess should it hold advanced and medium range. You know what? I, I think we're going to go ahead and do the uh, the Lion computer. Yeah, I think we should do that. Uh, well, let me save it, though. Oh, because we're, we're currently building those. All right, we're going to have to wait. That's fine. Uh, you know, it is going to cost a little bit of uh, alloys to, to upgrade that, but that's fine. So, Limbo. The vault is a tomb for hopeful immortals. The science officer asserts that the huge blocks of ternary code found in the databanks are neural images. Digitized brain scans. Doubtlessly, the aliens of Serban 3A considered this to be their only shot any kind of survival following whatever calamity befell their planet. They did not have the means to resurrect themselves, but banked on the impossibly small hope that eventually someone else would have those means. So we can let them lie. Uh, we do not, but download their neural, plan neural plans for safekeeping. Okay. Um, get less research, but I wonder if this has... I don't recall getting this event. I might have. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I don't know what it does. I'm sure that there's something to this. You're not just getting less research for for nothing. Let's do that. We'll keep Another it for safekeeping. Edge technology discovered. All right. So, uh, what are we going to have this guy do now? I suppose we'll go ahead and scan this system real quick and then maybe we'll have him work on that, uh, project over there. Uh, did get our hyperdrives. Awesome. Uh, that doesn't mean we're going to put those in all of our ships. Of course, uh, we'll wait till we finish building the ships. I suppose. Um, I know that we could cancel it and then, uh, you know, it, it, it basically be uh, more profitable that way because we wouldn't have to upgrade them. Um, you know, ships that we just built, but it's fine. We're just going to go with that. And I'm, I'm all right with it. Uh, research alternatives, energy credit for, from technicians. That would be super easy to get. Uh, chemical plants, minerals into... Wow, yeah, there are um, other ways to get these resources. I, I was not aware of that. That's awesome. I'm really glad that we, we can do that. We're also producing rare crystals now, you'll notice, uh, on our uh, corporate HQ, so that's good. Yeah, I, I feel like well, this would be super quick to get. But you know what? I just don't know when these are going to pop up again. It's just too useful not to get that. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get that so we can start uh, getting the resources that we need. Uh, the edicts have ended. Okay, do we have the money to, to continue them? Well, I know I want to do pop growth speed no matter what. You know what? Let's just um, let's just sell some shit. Uh, we got a lot of stuff we can sell. Um, most importantly, we, I mean, we could sell some of these consumer goods, actually. Uh, we're kind of stacked up in consumer goods. So, yeah, let's let's sell some consumer goods. We haven't sold any of those yet. Let's sell, um, I guess we sell 2500 for 3500 Yeah, we'll do that. Um, and we can sell some minerals as well, just because, once again, we're, we're always stacked up in that. Uh, do we want to do 5000 Nah, we'll just sell that many. All right, uh, let me sell a little bit more. So, we are got plenty of money now, so we can go ahead and initiate both of those. And looking good. Is there anything we need to work on here in these planets? We, oh, we got generator something. district going right there. Oops. No, I don't want to move my planet, my planetary capital. Nope. Didn't want to do that. My bad. <laughs> I almost did something uh, I would have regretted. Okay. Um, so, so what are we uh, currently we working on with the construction ship? So he's knocking that out. Is there anything that we're not capitalizing on in our home system, you know, from all those uh, uh, projects and such we did, anomalies? No, I'm not seeing anything. It looks like we have capitalized on everything. I know that we're above the empire size again, guys, but there's some really profitable uh, places here that I'd like to get, like this one. I feel like we have to get get this one here because I, I want to get the uh, shipyard going there. 
Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna expand out this way. And plus, you know, there's, uh, you know, exotic gases there. So we know we're gonna wanna expand out that way. Uh, as far as down here, I mean, I know that we wanna get that, but we might just, yeah, we might just wait on that. Let's go ahead and grab this one up. Uh, build a star base there. And then we'll have him work on the automated shipyard there. Once it's in our, once it's in our borders. So yeah, I know that this is this is gonna cause problems, guys. You can already see that the uh, the energy cost for our leaders is increasing. It's fifteen point twenty six right now. It's not too bad, but yeah, it does it does get expensive uh, for sure. Uh, I'm glad that we have a friend now. Look at this. Oh, and they're inferior. Their fleet power is nothing to us. I think we could easily conquer anybody right now. Uh, one any one of our neighbors. We are way more powerful than them. Uh, there was a migration treaty proposal. Okay, is our is our two enemies? Uh, making friends. That's what it looks like. Looks like our enemies are making friends with each other. Um, yeah. Alright, well I guess that's wise for them. We might end up having to fight both of them at the same time. We're gonna continue just building out, guys. Uh, getting our fleet fleet power up. Um, probably get up to our, our naval capacity limit here. And did we finish building? I think we are done. Yeah, I think we're completely done, which means we can make that adjustment to our destroyers. Uh, you know where I, I missed them. I keep clicking on fleet manager. I don't, I don't know why Because uh, yeah, I wanted to change these guys up uh, To the to the line I think yeah, let's do the line let's go and save that We don't necessarily have to upgrade them now if we didn't want to uh, we could always wait to upgrade them. How much would that cost? That's really not that bad honestly. Yeah, that's not bad at all. We'll, we'll upgrade them. That's fine. Prospect analyzed. And what did we finish? I think he just finished scanning that system right there. And it's okay. It's got some stuff. It's not bad, I guess. Uh, and the scientist is leveled up. Is that um? Which scientist is this? It's our physics scientist. Uh, if we look at our Another current found. technology hey. rates here, Can once again, engineering this? is lagging behind considerably. Behind the other two techs. It's unfortunate, because a lot of the uh, stuff for your ships is in engineering. Uh, scientist has finished up over here. Um, I'm tempted to continue to continue uh, scanning, but I kind of want to knock this out real quick. Just because it's just bothering me. I want to get it done. So we'll go ahead and knock that out. I know that we can't complete this, this whole project here, since so many of them are in our uh, rival's space. But if we attack them, we'll be able to get all those. Fascinating. Construction so, yeah, complete. That's, uh, yeah, we'll probably be fighting these guys. And uh, maybe we'll be able to get some assistance from these guys. Actually, it was not these two that made that treaty. It was these two that made the treaty. So maybe they're making friendly. I don't know. Maybe we can't expect to get any help from them against, against these guys. Uh, I guess we'll just have to see. So we expanded out here. Let's go ahead and do the, we're going to do the project first. I want to see what's there. And uh, yeah, at, at the very least, that means that, that their, their people will be over here, uh, you know, from that migration treaty. So even if we wiped them all out, they would still exist in the uh, galaxy. Uh, construction complete and fleet has been upgraded. We're at 2.4 thousand uh, fleet power right now. It's not bad. Uh, the governor has died. Oh, oh that's unfortunate. Uh, so... I know they changed up the way governors and stuff work. Um, how do I, do I have to like click on, let me just see here. Okay, yeah, you can just do it through here as before. I wasn't sure if they changed that. And all this is the first time I've had to hire a general. Cause I'm actually not playing much uh, of that other one that I started. I didn't really play that after I started this one. I don't tend to like doing two campaigns of a game at the same time, man. I just get confused about what I'm doing in each of them. Uh, so I don't really like doing that. So we have arch architectural interest. Um, budget buildings and districts are cheaper and they, they build quicker. Uh, righteous, which would reduce the amount of crime. So far we haven't seen crime issues. But it could be a problem in the future, I suppose. I don't know. I, I think we'll just do this one, though I, I am tempted to go ahead and look at how crime is, is doing right now. Yeah, there's really not any crime problems. And I don't even know if we'll find, if we'll have any crime problems, so... Yeah, no, there's no reason to, to get that. Let's do this. This is immediately beneficial as soon as we start building stuff. It helps us out. So we'll get that knocked out. 
Uh, and yeah, I wanted to go ahead and start building stations here. Let's let's build this station up. Actually, we're gonna do that right now. Um, let's get this built into a starport. And it's probably gonna be it's probably gonna be largely a, a, a trading port. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. I, I was tempted to make it a defensive one, but you know what? We could always build defensive ones in the two access points if need be. Uh, and we still have starbase capacity. Uh, we can get robots now. Awesome. All right, so civilian fabricators. This is, I think, an upgrade to the, the other one. Um, turning minerals into consumer goods, and consumer goods is a problem. So I, I think we're gonna go and go for that. Um, yeah, ever since we changed that, where our trade value is not going towards it is kind of an issue. So I, I suppose it makes sense to get that. Um, we also need to do something here on corporate HQ uh, because as you guys can see, the uh, jobs are needed. Uh, so which one do we want to get? Which district? I think we're gonna go with the city district, honestly. Yeah, more trade value, more amenities, although we're, we're stacked up on amenities. Trade goods always great though. Uh, and that does produce money as well. So I think it makes sense to go for the city. Let's do city city district or city districts uh, It's gonna be very uh, very uh, uh, Urban type of planet our headquarters. I think I think it makes sense. I think that's very very fitting um, So yeah, we decided to build a space station there It's gonna be our next space station I'm trying to see if there's any other locations. I think we're all right for right now We're just gonna build that one get that space station going Remember we still have the, we have these guys here as well um, observing in the Steam Age and Renaissance Age, uh, getting that nice. We haven't really decided to do anything with those. Uh, they're just getting us those that nice research bonus. And we've met somebody else. Who would we meet? Cute little geckos. Who? Blood Court. Okay. Um, they're fanatic purifiers. Awesome. These cute little guys are fanatic purifiers. That's awesome. <laughs> Uh, they they hate anybody who's not a cute little gecko. Um, you'll find yourself no match for us, pricky. <laughs> they're called pricky. That's great. They're over here. They're little, little tiny empire. One little. And they might have so fought scary. these guys Complete. actually. Yeah, I could see that having been like a, uh, a possible Complete. war here in the past. Special project complete. Um, so we restored power to the automated shipyard. Uh, the facility immediately resumed its in interrupted construction order using what materials it had on hand to build an advanced frigate of unknown design. Unfortunately, the ancient facility broke down completely afterwards and has been deemed beyond repair. We have sent a crew to the new ship and pressed it in service with our fleet. So, our new ship here, uh, looks like it's a S79 class. I bet it's probably pretty good. That's what I need to click on. Um, yeah, it's pretty decent. Very good at everything. So yeah, uh, we'll add it to our fleet. Oops, didn't need to do that. We'll just have them go home base here. Make the fleet even more powerful. Right, 2.4 thousand. Yeah, we're spending all this money on this fleet. It feels like we should probably use it soon. Let's just get uh, our, our little, this little situation here fixed up, guys. We do need to do something with this guy. But I think, uh, I think war with the uh, sacrosanct, uh, Sinatomare Assembly. <laughs> oh, that's a great name. Uh, yeah, I think we're, we're gonna go to war with them. Uh, and probably, uh, it's not gonna be this episode, I don't think. Oh, damn, that takes fucking forever to research, doesn't it? Uh, we get naval capacity, we're almost at naval capacity right now. Uh, off-world trading companies produces two trade value for each trade hub. That would be super useful. Um, but I feel like we have to go with the Galactic Administration, even though that does take a really, really long time. Um, the, I like the civic slots. So, yeah, we're going to go and get that. Uh, it'll just take fucking forever. It's fine. Um, Asda can get a, a building, so let's go ahead and do that. See what we want to get here. What are they short on? Looks like they're kind of short on housing. Um, but this building probably won't satisfy that. Oh, robot assembly yards. I forgot, we got robots. So, a robotic, uh, robotist turns minerals into new robot pops. Hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> Can you not just produce robots anymore? Is that not how this works anymore? I, I completely forgot that we had got the ability to build robots. And, uh, I don't know how to build them now. Uh, you know, before it was, 
different um, pop assembly capacity. It represents the total capacity the planet has to artificially create new pops. For most types of empires, pop assembly comes from roboticist jobs and is used to build robot pops. Okay, so it's a job now. Well, that's interesting. It does mean that corporate HQ needs that now. How far away are they from 50? They're pretty close. We'll probably just wait, uh, and then that'll be the first thing we get on corporate HQ. Um, although I am, I am tempted to to like take one of the, the alloy uh, foundries and instead turn that into uh, the robot thing, just because, I mean, well, we need alloys. Yeah, I really can't afford to, to remove any of these right now. All right, we'll, we'll just wait. It's fine. Um, but Asda can get it, so let's let them start getting robots. Hell yeah. Yeah, we'll get robots. It's, it's, it's a lot different uh, than the way they did before, where you're building the building the pops yourself, and you paid for each pop. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot different. Okay. I'm interested to see how the robots work now, since it does seem that there are some changes. Uh, research agreement between these two. These guys are getting really, really friendly. We might end up having to fight both of them when we attack these guys. So that's fine. I don't, I don't care. Uh, I'm sure I can beat both of them. Uh, they're, they don't look all that powerful either. Just taking a look at them. Their fleet power is inferior as well. I mean, our fleet is massive. Uh, we're pretty powerful. Um, Non-aggression pact invitation. So, yeah, now these two are getting, getting friendly. All right, so we might end up having to fight three. I'm really glad that we have a buddy here, though I don't know that we'll be able to get them to attack them with us. We just have a defensive pact with them at the moment, uh, so that would not result in them joining us. Uh, but yeah, I've, I I think you will, next episode, maybe, if I had to guess, next episode might be a... Uh, might be the one where we go to war. Uh, we do end up having uh, unemployment here. We're growing very rapidly here, and we don't even have any of this stuff on either. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, we're not going to... I guess we could distribute luxury goods. I really want this planet to continue to grow quicker. Uh, I suppose we can do it. It's only 500. Let's do that. Um, and then we'll also go ahead and do... Can you do it again? Oh, no, you can't do it again. Uh, we'll go ahead and encourage planet carry growth as well. I think that'd be uh, wise. And then, do we want to do the same on these two? We don't really have... We could build... We could buy some food, though. It's fine. Yeah, we'll just buy some more food. So that we can uh, make sure that we can do both of those. Um, so, yeah. We got the money for that. Oh, yeah. I know we didn't need that much. I like having a, a nice little stockpile of food. So, encourage planetary growth. And encourage planetary growth. So, oh, these are cheaper. 300. The other one is 500. Um, so yeah, we're, uh, what's this? Oh, the research grants. Yes, yes, yes. Do we want to do that again? I, I feel like we're, we're doing pretty good on, uh, influence. So, yeah. Why would we not do that? Just see what else we had uh, available to us. But yeah, let's do the, uh, research grants. It's too useful to not do it. If you have the influence anyways. What is our construction ship doing? Construction He's building complete. the, uh... Mineral uh, station over there. We've got our star base finished and the construction is finished in corporate HQ as well um, We have an extra job. We'll have to get one more to get to 50 I'm probably gonna go ahead and just build that out now. Uh, just taking a look at what we have going here What do we want? What station do we want? Um, as far as they are negative on the food. I feel like let's get a, a generator district here. Yeah, we'll do a generator district here Get that building uh, so that we make sure we cover all all the way up to the fifth jobs in order to get that new job for the uh, roboticist. Um, these guys are still building the robot assembly plant there. And um, that's going to give a new job there. Uh, these guys now are lacking housings. That means we have somebody who doesn't have somewhere to live. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's get them a, a city district built uh, here on Sam's Club. And is there anything else I need to be concerned about? Oh, yes, that's right. We have our starbase here, and this is going to be our trading starbase. Uh, so we're going to want to go ahead and get some trade hubs. Um, or we only need one right now. Uh, that'll cover the two surrounding uh, places here. Now let's get a trade hub there. Uh, and then is there anything here that would be beneficial for the trade hub? Okay, you get the hyperlane register, uh, which is a defensive aura, jump charge time. Okay, so some good stuff there. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to get anything there right now. I think that's fine. Um, let's just get the trade hub. Construction complete. And we have finished the mining station. So, construction ship. Let's get him. I mean, fuck, man. I just want to keep expanding. Um, and this way is not as, as profitable 
as this direction up here. There's so much good stuff up here. Uh, I find myself just wanting to get this. Uh, we still can't get the exotic gas extraction yet. So, yeah, that's not not needed getting that one. But yeah, we can get the, the trade value here, uh, the energy, and then the, uh, the alloys here. This is a fantastic location. Let's get this one. I know that we're increasing our Empire size higher and higher, and that is causing some penalties. Construction complete. But whatever, it's fine. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry too much about it until our energy problems get really bad, because uh, that's really that's complete. what it's costing us is energy. Um, we got another specimen. Awesome. So we got that society research done. He's done over here. Uh, that means he can come back over here to scan. I think that's what we're gonna have him do. I don't see anything else uh, for him to do inside our empire right now. So yeah, let's go ahead and have him uh, continue scanning out this direction. Um, it would be really nice if we could get all this, because then it would connect our two two sides here. Um, so yeah, let's have him scan there, and there, there, and there. I'm, I'm interested to see if these connect to us. Ah, uh, I guess we'll have to see. Log updated. And precursor discovery, new archaeological special project is available. All right. Um, is that a situation log thing? Because, yeah, we have to get... So this is a science ship on... Where is this? Check on map. Okay, that's right there. All right, so, yeah, we could knock that out. That does require a scientist. Um, so, yeah, we'll have him... Uh, I haven't do that once he finishes here. Priorities, guys. Priorities. Another bleeding edge technology discovered. And we got chemical plants. Awesome. So now we can turn the minerals into volatile moats. Um, this is one of the ones that I, in my other playthrough, I got like a ton of these. And this is, I had them all over the place. And that's what I was talking about when we first started. And we didn't have any of these resources. Uh, you know, I was like, man, why am I not finding shit? We never really, and we never really did find a lot of resources. It was kind of a bad start resource wise. I didn't know that you could produce them though. So that's. That's awesome. I'm glad that that's an option because they're so important. I, I was wondering how the hell they can make them so important where buildings require them. They have like upkeep. Um, yeah, I didn't know how that was going to work. It just didn't seem like possible to, to do that based on just what you find in space. But you can produce them on your planets. That's nice. Colony development speed. We got nowhere to colonize. Uh, I think we might go after the energy. Yeah, let's go after the energy, guys. Okay, so... I believe it's just about the end of the episode, guys. Yeah, we're about to finish this up here. Um, the only, only thing we're kind of hurting on right now on the top bar is the consumer goods. It's not too big of an issue, though. Um, it's just we don't have a lot of uh, planets right now at the moment. Uh, Starbase has finished over here, so that's going to generate a lot more trade revenue. revenue. Um, we're going to need to protect uh, this because, uh, as you can see... The piracy is going to become a problem, though the star bases do provide a lot. This star base here seems to be providing a lot of uh, protection here. But yeah, I think it's it's not red. It is red there though, so because I don't think it's being protected by uh, Zippor. Um, so yeah, we're going to want to have our um, our pirate hunters, and hopefully they can they can cover all this and it works out nicely. Uh, what we need them to do is we need them to go back to HQ because it has to, the way you set those patrols up is uh, kind of specific. So um, I wish they kind of changed it up a little bit, but it's, it's fine. Uh, you got to send them from build something. The, the system you want them to start the patrol in to the system you want them to end. Uh, and they have to be in that system. So we're going to move them here to HQ and then we'll have them uh, go all the way to, to Golba. Um, construction ship is done. All right. So we have expanded out here. Let's go ahead and take advantage of those resources. Getting more trade value, of course. Uh, so that should be profitable, hey, both with our money or energy. I always call it energy money because it's technically kind of supposed to be money. And our unity, our unity will be increasing as well. So this is kind of a tougher um, anomaly here. Uh, where is he at? He's right there. Um, that's 117. You know what? I, I kind of feel like I might want to wait to do that one. Yeah, let's just leave B for now. I want him to continue uh, searching out there. So before we end the episode, it was technically time to end the episode now, but I want to uh, go ahead and set this patrol up first. Um, so let's have him patrol up to there. So he should be patrolling all the the systems we need patrolled, um, you know, for the, uh, the, the trade value there for the pirates. The question is, does he produce enough complete. trade value? I think he does. I think it's 10. And I'm only seeing piracy of four 
right there. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. So the only other question then is, um, is he going to be able to do it fast enough where we're not getting the uh, penalty? Because remember, I said that uh, you know if you do the tra if you do the uh, patrol route too far, then you'll start getting the penalty because as you guys saw when we hovered over that, it does have a little timer there. Um, I think it's like uh, what, ten years. I think. I think it's 10 years. I'm pretty sure that he, it shouldn't take him 10 years to fucking go from here to here. So I think we should be good. Um, he should be able to protect it, just that one ship. So it's not really, you don't really need a lot for it, honestly. Um, we can go ahead and combine these two here. Merge those. Remember, like, at 2.6 thousand for our fleet size. Yeah, I, I feel like um, we did a great job expanding out. Uh, and I, I, I think we're going to go ahead and, and go to war next episode against these guys. We'll have to start making some claims. Uh, we probably won't be able to destroy them in, in one war, uh, more than likely, but we can go and make some claims here, grab up some some space. It's not really necessary, though. I don't know. Let me know your guys' opinions down in the comments below. Technically, it's not necessary to fight these guys. It's just me wanting to fight, me looking for a fight. Uh, but yeah, there's not really actually any reason um, for it. You know what? I, I want to say that the FTL inhibitors are now just part of space stations now. You used to have to build them on the, the space station, you know, to stop them from, you know, passing through them. But I think that might just be on all space stations now. Like, you can't can't uh, leave the system without destroying the space station. Well, I like that change. Now you don't have to use up one of your, I don't know if it was a building or module. Uh, but yeah, you don't have to use that anymore. So that's, that's not bad. Uh, also, we can get those defense platforms, the shells uh, that we built. I suppose that makes sense to to get a couple of those. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that on, is this Zippor? Yeah, we're gonna want to build those. Um, one, one negative, of course, of us conquering here, the reason why I'm bringing it up, I'll get a couple of these, is uh, we have a nice little spot here where they can't get into our empire without having to go through Zippor. If we expand out this way, then we you know we have to worry about these guys being able to conquer some stuff if they wanted to. It's not that big of a deal, but I mean, there's not really any reason to to actually attack these guys. Uh, I mean, the only reason why I'm doing it is just because I want to. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments. Do you think we should just continue peacefully expanding? Um, since we have the space, we got a lot of systems left. I mean, we can't even, we take this these systems here uh, and we can't even manage them. I mean, our empire size is already uh, too large. Oh, branch offices increase empire size too. I was not aware of that. Well, that sucks. All right, that's something to consider. I had no idea that the, the branch sizes were part of empire size. Damn, that kind of reduces their value a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, they're not as, as good then. I don't know if I like that. All right, well, yeah, that's something to consider too. Our branch sizes here are affecting it. There's really no reason for us to conquer them. Um, it's just about war. So let me let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, should we go to war uh, or should I just continue police? To the, I mean, there are these here. That's one reason, I guess. So we can do these special projects. Um, that's kind of a stupid reason to go to, go to war, though. Um, but yeah, that's that's really it. Um, is being able to get these these special projects, but it's going to increase our empire size beyond what we can support. And uh, yeah, it's, there's no reason to do it. So let me know in the comments. Do you think we should go after you know the the many many systems that we have that we can expand peacefully to, or should we go ahead and attack these guys just for shits and giggles? Let me know down in the comments below. This is the end of the episode, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying it. I know I'm absolutely loving the patch. By the way, we're gonna have to do something about Asda. Uh, they have uh, need for jobs here soon. Oh, they have the robot assembly plants as well. I guess we can look at those. Looks like they're building two robot pops per month. Okay. Interesting. Can we like still design robots and stuff? All right. So yeah, you can. These are. Oh, you can prioritize what robot they're gonna build. Um, what do they have? Mechanical have ability. All right. So yeah, that's that's so much different. So how do you design your robots now? Um, are those done still through the species here? I don't know. I guess I guess we'll find out soon. Um, and we should have got that uplift tech so we could have uplifted them because then we'd have their cousins in our empire. Uh, we could be like, see, we have your long last cousins over here. Uh, we've been taking good care of them. Uh, but yeah, I, I continue to, to prolong ending this video. So let's go ahead and end it here. Let me down, know down in the comments below on, on the war, whether we should do it or not. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and thanks for watching, guys.